Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Benita Kulabako and I make fashion and travel videos. Today's video was supposed to be a vacation lookbook, but since my trip got cancelled yesterday, I thought why not make this a Zara slash Bershka try on haul. I'm also going on another trip next week, but I'm going to New York, so the weather is kind of cold and I don't think that these outfits will be good for there. And if I do wait for my next beach vacation, I'm afraid that these clothes might no longer be available in the store. So before we continue, I want to give you some good tips about traveling because I just had an awful day yesterday because I wasn't able to travel. I was supposed to be at the beach right now, but here I am. Yesterday, I wasn't able to depart because I didn't have the right documents. For me, as a traveler, it's really hard to hand over my passport to an embassy for over a week just to get a visa. So what I usually do is get a visa upon arrival. But for some countries, it's easy to get it. For others, it's a little harder. And for this specific location, which was Ghana, you actually need some kind of proof that your visa will be approved upon arrival. And that document I didn't have with me at that time. So although everything would be fine once I departed, the airlines wouldn't let me leave. So a good tip for me to you is always check all the required documents you need. So that's not only the visa, because sometimes you can get it in the embassy, sometimes it's upon arrival, sometimes you do not need a visa, but this also goes for your vaccination booklet or if you need any COVID certificates or if you need any tests done. Also for some countries, they require you to go to the government's website and let them know that you're coming and you need proof of that as well. So there's so many rules and every country has its own. So make sure to always be prepared. Don't be like me. Don't do this last minute. If you know you're going on vacation, check everything you need so you're prepared and you won't have to lose any money uh, for flights or for hotels or anything because it's really hard to get your money back, even with insurance. So keep that in mind, always just be prepared. Since I had already packed my suitcase, I'm gonna show you some tips as well on how to organize your luggage. This is the one I took with me yesterday. It's not a big one because it was gonna be a short trip. It's the 55 centimeters, and I'm gonna show you the content and show you how I just separated everything. So for this trip, I went with a medium suitcase because a large one would have been too big and a carry-on would have been just too small. And on top of that, I wouldn't be able to bring any liquids. And for my hair, it's kind of important to bring enough conditioner and all of that because I really do need it when it tends to be warm. So this suitcase didn't really have sections of its own. So I try to put everything in organizers so I still have a nice overview and I don't have to look for any clothing. So I'm gonna start off with the first one. We have one, two, three, four big bags of clothing. And let's just go over each and every one. I felt like this one was just perfect for this suitcase. And this was the first bag I packed. Here I have all my daily outfits for during the day. So dresses, shorts, pants, whatever. I put everything together per outfit and put it away in this bag. By the way, this was a trip for four days. Four days, but also four nights. So for the nights, I had this bag over here. And these were all my party slash lunch outfits. The bag is just a little bigger as you can see. Whoopsie. Day life, night life. <laughs> oh well. So these were my outfits. But of course, 
as you know, I like to work out. So I had another bag just with workout clothes and pajamas. So these, you know, all the leggings and shorts are like easy to fold. So I have um, three different outfits to gym with and then a few pajamas in here. So I know this is just for working out and chilling clothes. And then on every beach vacation, you need bikinis. So this bag is filled with bikinis, a lingerie, socks, all the necessities. Mm -mm -mm. And other than that, I have my shampoo, conditioner, hair product, some perfume, my favorite perfume, by the way, this is Chanel Chance au Tendre, and my combs, and that's it for this side. And then I covered my shoes and slippers with this for my carry-on bag. Because I felt like it was just easy and so they wouldn't like roll over once you open your suitcase. So here I have my slippers and sandals, my workout shoes, of course my heels. I only brought one pair because I felt like it matched with every night outfit I picked. So I just brought one pair and they're super comfy. They're some from Zara. So I love these heels. But then something really important is one outfit. For your return flight because what happened in the past so many times is i pack my suitcase i have um my outfit on that i want to travel with but then for my return i only have like summer clothes and i have nothing to wear to go back home <laughs> so now every single time i have a return travel outfit in my suitcase apart from my other clothes so i know this is for my return flight and other than that I have my toilet bag and I had my makeup bag but I took that out so this is it this is what my suitcase looks like pretty organized because that's how I like it if not I'll just go crazy I literally can't handle an unorganized suitcase it really drives me crazy so I just want everything neat at all times so I don't have to look for anything so I don't have to lose anything and also that it's just peaceful also when I do travel I keep my suitcase closed because I don't want any bugs in my suitcase <laughs> so if it's organized it's just easy to open and close all the time another tip <laughs> so now that that's done I want to show you everything I got for this trip these outfits are really nice. Bershka and Zara never disappoint me. So <laughs> let's just see what I got. This is the outfit that I was going to wear on day one. I had no plans since this was kind of a last minute vacation. So I just knew that it was going to be 30 degrees and I felt like this was going to be good for anywhere I go. So these pants and top are both from Bershka from the latest collection and I'm telling you I really love these pants they have like little holes in them so my legs can breathe <laughs> and I really dig the color and the feel of it as well it's like soft very comfy and yeah I'm sad that I couldn't wear it yet but this is it and uh, love everything about this also the top is really basic but you always need basics because just this and this together already is a look and i'm really feeling this vibe so yes to the pants Woohoo! this is my second day outfit and i really love this because i mean look at these pants look at them they're shiny, kind of velvet. I don't know what the name of this material is, but it's definitely special. <laughs> I feel like these colors really work with my skin tone now that I'm super tan because, I mean, look, I never really used to wear gray before and look at me now, being a whole sparkle on its own. <laughs> 
So this is the look both from Bershka, top from Bershka, pants from Bershka, latest collection and I'm telling you the moment I walked in the store I saw these pants and I was like I need to get these. I need to get my hands on these. But luckily they still had my size because I really really wanted it and I'll show you later there's also another similar set that I had to get my hands on. So this is my day look number two. For any occasion, I just feel like it's chill. No cargo is really in right now. It's really trendy. The fact that these are cargo pants, but silver makes it really, really special and makes me stand out. So if you want to stand out as well, get these pants. So this is what I was going to wear on day three. I really love this dress. It's just very comfortable. And a lot of times when you wear a dress, you know, it just doesn't sit well everywhere. <laughs> or it's too tight on the belly or too loose on the belly. Or, you know, it just goes up whenever you start walking. And this one is just perfect. You know, I can walk comfortable without having to worry about something not sitting right. So what I love about this dress is that and also it gives me like a nice figure because it has like these elastics here on the side. You see? So it gives you like a better shape. And that's what I love about this. This dress is pretty similar to the one from my last lookbook from Zara, which was a green dress. I don't know if you remember, but that one looked nice, but it didn't really sit nice. That's why I really love this dress because it sits right in every place. And I'm just comfortable walking in it, no matter if I'm going out with it or if I'm just going outside during the day which was the plan for this dress, I don't have to feel uncomfortable, you know. And that's why this dress is for the win. I was gonna wear it with slippers, but of course, if you're going out, you can just wear it with heels. Tick, 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 tick. I can even jump in it. And you see, everything is still in place. <laughs> this is me with the Maasai not too long ago jumping whoever jumped the highest and of course it wasn't me but i had fun doing that but um yes this dress is definitely a yes it's from bershka again from the latest collection and i'd say get it quick because it's selling out really fast since it's such a nice dress let's go over to my night looks and those are a little you know how i like it six <laughs> this is me, sexy B. <laughs> I even got my heels on. Yes, because this is my night outfit. Whether I was going out or going to a lunch or just for dinner, this was what I was gonna wear. I feel cute in this. Oh my gosh. I remember I told you not too long ago that I used to never wear skirts. Well, this is one of the first skirts I got not too long ago, trying to make myself feel comfortable in a skirt. And now this is me slaying skirts because I don't care anymore. So yeah, got my Gucci bag. I just took two bags I think and I didn't show that earlier because I put it in my carry-on all the designer bags all the designer sunglasses jewelry all of that I don't put it in my main suitcase only in my carry-on so I always have that with me because you never know so this is the look and I feel good from Zara, Zara, Zara. I still have the reference for this one, but for the skirt, since it's a little older, I no longer have that, but I'm gonna find you something similar. Don't worry, I got you. This was my second nighttime outfit. A little more tough, but I still really like it. 
because it's chill, I'd feel comfortable if I want to dance and put in some wool, you know, little shaking then I still be able to, not having to worry about my tiny skirt being too short, you know. So this one is good for dancing. Let me see. A little wine, because a little wine a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> So this one would be good for that. So I would party and dance and bust a little move. Hey, and still feel okay. Whew. And with the same bag because like I said, I only brought two for this trip. And the same heels. So these pants from Bershka, latest collection. Top is from Zara, not from the latest collection. But, like always, I'll find you something similar. Okay. So this is the look. I'm really, really digging this vibe. This is really me. A little cool, but still looking fine. Okay. But I should go over to my next look. Because this next one is the one I was talking about. It is fire. When I'm saying fire, I'll just stop talking and show you. This is the one. This is the one I was talking about. I saw this skirt and I immediately, I immediately had to get it. This one is a little short, so I can't be whining and grinding like that. But you know, with this one, you just have to keep it decent. Yep, and it goes up. Oopsie, <laughs> but it's fine because I look cute. <laughs> and then it comes with this top. It doesn't come with this top, but you know, I combined it with this top, which I love. But then the, this one, this pullover is really nice. I saw it in the store and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. But when I wear it, mm, I'm not really digging it like that. So I just got it just because I might like it with something else. But for this fit, let me show you. I think it's better to like leave this. Hold up. I'll take it out. Whoopsie. Okay. My ear and left. As you can see, this quickly goes up when you're walking. But like I said, it's fine because it easily goes down again. And by the way, this material is really, really soft. Love the gray. I feel like it's better without the extra pullover because you see the outfit more. I don't know what you think. Feel free to let me know in the comments which one you like most. But this is the look. I feel like it's such a vibe. Like the gray, the silver. I feel like the Spice Girls in here. <laughs> and same bag same heels just because it's easy now okay mm. i hope you like these outfits and uh, let me know which one was your favorite of course i'm gonna put the reference codes in the description as always and remember for your next trip to always check the rules and regulations for the country you're traveling to always be prepared let me know where you're traveling to as well, so I might have some extra tips for you. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and see you next week with a new video. Bye!